What is up YouTube and or Sourcegraph engineering team? I'm double dipping on this video, I have to admit. I'm showing off a cool feature that Chris Went and I worked on for Sourcegraph where we have implemented go to implementations. I cannot get over how many times I said the word implementations throughout the month that we were working on this, but that's neither here nor there. And I thought that uh, not only would the engineering team think that this is cool, but also some of my viewers. So that's why we're posting this on YouTube. So let's go through this. I'll show some examples and maybe I'll explain a little bit of the reasoning of why we wanted to do this. So I'll give some examples of some Go code that we've got at, at our work. And let's say we're, we're working through this kind of situation here. You're reading through this code, you're like, okay, sure. There's this function called nodes from this context. It's gonna do a bunch of computations, et cetera. And then it's gonna get this new database. And you're like, I wonder how this actually like grabs something from here. So we know that this is uh, basically just some context thing. You don't have to know too much about what's going on. This is some store, which is more or less like a database store, but you also don't have to worry about that. This is just the example of what's going on here. But this function here, handle, if you wanted to know what was happening inside of this function before, normally you just jump to the definition. But the problem is when we jump to the definition, we actually jump to the interface definition, which makes sense given that this function is defined by the interface, but that's not actually useful if you wanna know what code gets run in production, right? You wanna actually see how is this happening? So the new thing that we've got here is find implementation. So you can click this button. What actually happens is it shows you every place that some struct implements this interface method. And so then we could go around the code and we could see now in this case, it's quite a simple one. That doesn't really matter. I just wanted to show a very simple case of how you could use this. So this is within one repo. You'll notice this whole time we've been inside Sourcegraph. Sourcegraph, and that's what's going on. However, there are some things that I think are even a bit cooler than this. For example, let's say you were inside of uh, the Golang Go repository here, right? And you wanted to say, okay, so I'm reading about Reader. I'm reading about Reader. And I look around and I say, okay, sure. I understand, yeah, we've got this whole information about what reader's supposed to do, how it's supposed to do it, all these other things, but it's still kind of difficult for me to understand what's actually happening. Like how does anyone actually write the code to make this work? What you can do is you can click on find implementations for this particular method, and you could even go look at how people implement this method. And now we are not in Golang Go anymore. We're in some other repo that implements this interface and you can see how they read it, what happens, what they return, all those sorts of goodies. But not only that, you can do the reverse. So if I was in a repo that implements or that has some struct that implements a bunch of other methods, I can see by clicking on find implementations, which I've already done here, that you can see what interface this struct implements across different repos as well. So it's not limited only to the repositories that you're in, but you could also see that, oh, this log read closer, sure enough, it implements reader, closer, and read closer. So that's just a quick demo of some of the very exciting stuff I think that we've got going on with implementations. Right now it only works for Golang because that's the only indexer that we've currently implemented this behavior in, but we'll probably add more as time goes on and you'll be able to do this for other languages as well. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I will see you later.